Hey guys, what's happening? Um, in my zealous state, uh, getting home, I uh, opened up my fuse and put it in and AB'd it before I did an unboxing. So <laughs> um, I figured I would come back to you guys here and show you I got a new upgrade. Uh, this is a Synergistic Orange fuse. Uh, this is the orange version. I think there's a black, a blue. Um, it might have been a red. I'm not sure. But this is the orange. It's the latest and greatest. This is the box that it came in. $150, guys. Uh, you know I'm a fan of ceramic fuses. You know that I upgraded in my previous videos a bunch of different fuses um, in my Macintosh and my CD player and my P10 line conditioner. And uh, I decided to take the plunge and see what a high-end ceramic fuse would do. Mine was the NTE uh, little fuse. It was like uh, $4.99 for a pack of five. So a buck, a fuse. This damn thing is $150. This is what it came in, the, a holder. It's kind of kind of just really interesting. It's just a foam pad with the fuse that was stuck down inside. And it's the 5x20, um, 1 amp. I think it's 240 or 250 volt. So I ordered the same size, except I got it in a 1.25 fuse because from what I understand, the tolerance is a little bit tighter on the higher end audiophile fuses and they can blow. So I got it just 0.25 um, bigger, but it is a slow blow, just like the factory one. Now, as you guys know, I told you the electric company, it's very unique. The uh, EMC1 MK4, it came with a, the ceramic fuse in it. The Synergistic Research is the same, guys. It's just a, a, a gloss finish on the uh, ceramic, like a sticker that has the orange logo and two blue dots. Um, it looked just like this, though. Nothing special. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I expected it to glow or whistle at me when I pulled it out for $150, right? So uh, I put it in. Let's get to the meat of, of the observation here. This needs 200 hours to burn in. They actually say it needs 200 hours to burn in in the directions. Uh, I know this. That's how long it took for all my other fuses to burn in, and this is no different. So that validates it for me. I did uh, treat it with some my, my uh, tried and true contact cleaner and uh, put it in. Now, they are directional. It also says that they are directional in the, in the, in the uh, direction booklet. And I put it in, listened to it. It sounded absolutely beautiful. Switched it over. It did not sound as good. So I switched it back. So that's done. Now I have to wait 200 hours to, and to give you guys the overall you know, finished review. But well, what I can tell you is immediately, uh, I have the vinyl of Nightmare Before Christmas, the soundtrack. It's, one of my, it's my favorite movie in the world. It's my favorite soundtrack. Um, love the music in it. Uh, it, it. Tim Burton, everything else, right? Uh, Danny Elfman. Beautiful composer. So there's a part in the song three where it says, um, in this town of Halloween, and it fades off. And you can hear three vocals in that. Uh, they're harmonizing. And the vinyl, you can hear that beautifully as it fades off. On the CD, you cannot. Even treated with Auric Illuminator, even with my still points, even with my uh, Kimber Cable uh, Palladian uh, power cable hooked up. Um, my Kimber Select Balance, everything else, I still could not get that natural vocals to harmonize in like real life or like vinyl. Um, so that's what I listened for uh, as a test, and, it, and it's there. It's there, thank God it's there. So it's worth $150 to me just to know that that natural sound is back. So why did I hear that? So the first kind of wow, oh my gosh moment was uh, when the band, when, when the uh, orchestra starts up, the whole presentation now to the system has heft, weight. Now, I noticed this in different parts of my upgrades throughout the system. For instance, when I added the uh, Palladian uh, PK-10 to the Macintosh, that was more foundation, more oomph, more raw torque. But this is different. There's a fullness, a heft, uh, just a, a much bigger, larger presence of scale uh, that I'm getting. But it's just, that's the best way I can describe it is there's just meat on the presentation. It's weighty in the room and uh, not just not just lower bass notes. Uh, secondly, the vocals, they, they, they're, as much as they sound good now with all my upgrades, 
there's there's more to them and and it's just amazing right in this hobby that the more you you add sometimes it takes away uh there's a couple things i've i've tried that you guys don't know about with one of my subscribers he brought over some tweaks that i'll do a video on later that made it sound worse or just didn't sound good you also know that i had that beautiful spider clamp for the cd player and with the still points and everything i've done to my cd player i prefer the stock puck so we know that not all upgrades work for us if you're in the hobby um, but this fuse, man, the, the, it, it changed the vocals. They're, they're, they're more in, out in space and, the, and they're more fleshed out, more natural. And that's why when, when they were harmonizing in that note, everything just came in just like the vinyl. So 15 minutes of listening, I already hear a huge difference. So I'm going to give it 200 hours, cross my fingers that it only gets even better. But uh, I wanted to share this with you guys that I rushed them through that fuse in there. I was so excited and, and didn't get a chance to do an unboxing. So I at least wanted to show you uh, what you get for 150 bucks. A little, small, one amp, five by 20 fuse, and a pretty box. But the sound is what you're really getting, and that's worth it. So I wanted to take you guys over here too, because um, I did. I showed you guys my computer system the other day. It's not as light in here tonight. It's raining out, and I got the blinds closed. But this is the um, the Chang light speed I was telling you guys about. So I got everything plugged in back here, and. Uh, Definitely made a difference. What I heard, um, even though it's a little computer audio system, what I heard was uh, more scale, more warmth, more bloom, more openness. So definitely just a much more natural analog sound, not so digital. Um, definitely separating the digital from the analog components in the computer system has made a difference. I also went ahead and I've been reburning in all of my components again because now that I have the uh, computer isolated from everything, uh, I wanted to reburn in my CDs, and also I noticed that putting this bamboo board under them, uh, under the player or the uh, CD burner, made everything uh, uh, vibrate less in the machine. And then I actually have this beautiful—I don't know if you guys know this—but I collect gemstones. I have this dragon's egg I got over at Pike Market in in Seattle here, and uh, it has nice heft to it and a stand. So I put it on there, uh, and it actually isolated the player or uh mass loaded it and there's hardly any vibration at all now with this and the bamboo on it so i believe that i'll get a better burn be or, or better import because the later laser is reading better okay so that's the update on the chain light speed very worth the money and that is the update on the cd player over there getting the uh new fuse so um once it's burned in in 200 hours we'll have an update um i will well after you guys will see my updated video on the turntable in my uh, HANA ML. So this video will come after that. But we'll, we'll, do, we'll open up this baby and play another piece that doesn't get demonetized and let you guys hear how natural the vocals sound and everything soon, okay? So thanks for keeping up with me and being loyal and following me. Um, you know, every little bit, man, every, every little tweak makes a difference, guys. So thank you so much for watching and sharing with me. And we'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.